Amen. Amen. Let's go back to John 3. Chapter 3. Verse 16 to 18. Verse 16 to 18. This is a very beautiful scripture that was preached all over the world. It says what? Sering. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son so that whoever believe and trust in him as a savior shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the son into the world for ju to judge and condemn the world. That is to initiate the final judgment of the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes and has decided to trust in him as personal savior and Lord is not judged. For this one, there is no judgment, no rejection, no condemnation. But the one who does not believe and has decided to reject him as personal savior and Lord is judged already. That one has been convicted and sentenced because he has not believed and trusted in the name of the one and only begotten son of God. The one who is truly unique, the only one of his kind, the one who alone can save him. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to share with you the, the way I normally preach when I'm outside. Uh, I want to preach that way. Because here I know that there are people from standard A to professors. So what I'll be preaching here, I'll preach a simple message. Because simple message is needed from sub A to professors. That is the message I preach outside to those professors. Look here, the Bible talk about God's love. Bible Just write God's love. God's love. I want to show you something of what has been written here. The Bible says, God so love. That he gave his only The Bible says, God so love. The world. And he gave his son. His only son. Do you know what happened that day? God knew that there is nothing that equates his love. He knew that his love was so big to the world and to the son. To extend that when the son was with him, began to learn the love of the father. The son was looking at the father God who's loving him and also loving the world. When he checked, he realized that the son said, no, the father loved the world. And he want to save the world. What is it that he's going to do? In other words, he might have said, to heavens, to the citizens of heaven. You know I love the world. So whom can I send them? But his love to the angel. 
His love to 24 oh, sisters was not equal to his son. Understanding his son began to learn the love of the father. When he learned the love of the father, even him, he began to love the world. To extend that when the father said, who can I send them? He realized the love of the father. He realized the love that he has learned from his father. And he began to say, I'm going there. And God accepted. Listen. God could not give what is less. God have to give what he had. He gave the son that he loved so much to the world that he loves so much. And he said, whoever believes in this son that I love so much, in the world that I love so much, will be saved. What is it that is teaching us? If we read, continue here. In Romans 5 verse 8. The Bible says, but God clearly shows and proves his own love for us. But the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. If you can read there, this is the demonstration of the love that God was having. He could be disappointed after he gave his love and he gave the, his son to the people that he loved. He gave his love without any expectation from what he will receive from the world. You know, when I was learning this, I began to understand that it's a lesson for us to learn his love. Here God was coming to teach us that are you aware of what I have done? Are you aware of what I have done? I have given my son I love so much so that he died without you proving to me I'm the one who proved to you. What are we learning from the love of God? And the love of the Son. God is teaching us to love. Because all of us, we are product of love. He's teaching us that you cannot be less than the love you show. You cannot be more than the love you give. This is the time that we need to check God's love so us. that we will be able to demonstrate it as it is. While we were still sinners, in other words, before you prove that you can say, I'm asking forgiveness. In other words, before you even know that you have done wrong, already you will get forgiveness. If we reach that kind of love, we will be operating in the love of the Father, which is the love of God. I don't know if you are hearing me. Before you understand 
that there is Jesus, you will be forgiven. Sometimes we are living with people. They do wrong to us. We normally want to show them. That they have committed their mistakes. We normally want to show them that they have committed their mistakes. But if it was God, He would forgive before they are aware that they have committed their mistakes. To extend that, when they come to realization. It will be the issue of God saying, I've it been it waiting for you. Do you know that when you start to have realization, love, God wants you to understand how he operates so that you can Let me say it again. When you start to have realization of God's love and we realize that you have done the mess, I want to tell you that already the mess that you have done already has been crushed off. Many of you, you are dwelling in what has happened in the past. But the mistakes of other people that they have done in your soul. It's time now we learn the love of the Father. So that we operate like Him. I don't know if you are hearing Let me show you another scripture. When I was reading this scripture, I was like shocked. John 15 verse 9. Can you read that scripture? John 15. John 15. Verse 9. Yes. I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Did you hear that now? Jesus says, listen. I was learning the love of the Father. And I'm supposed to come here as man. And live among you. So that you learn from me. And Jesus says, I have loved you. Uh -huh. I have loved you uh -huh. just as the Father has loved me. Can you hear that? Listen, Jesus was saying, I was watching the Father how he loved you. And I have loved you the same. I have learned the love of the Father. You know, if we want to operate like Jesus, this is the verse. verse you know what Jesus said? He said, you will do what I have done. You will even do about it. The reasons why there is sin and the lack of glory and run short of glory is because we are not learning how Jesus loved them. Read that verse. It says, I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Okay. Remain in my love and do not doubt my love for you. My God. Can you hear that verse? Jesus said, hey, you are not aware that I have learned the love of God completely. Yeah, it's before Jesus was crucified. The disciples were not aware of what was happening. You know, Jesus will speak in John 14, saying, hey, I'm the Father. You will be troubled in your spirit. But here he was Beginning to Maramona tell them exactly plainly what is about to happen. And he began to tell them this statement that I have loved you the, the way the Father has loved me. The way the Father loved you. I'm loving you the same. So understand that because you don't know the Father, you know me. 
doubt my life. Because sometimes when you are living in this way, the challenges strike your way. You begin to question the power and the love that God is having for you. He says, don't doubt my life. I have loved you. Can you tell your neighbor that don't doubt the love of Jesus? He really loves you. Listen. Now you can see these are two triangles. Let's go to one triangle. The father is here. He loved you. Jesus is here. He loved you. You cannot escape. I mean, also you cannot disappear. I never want you to disappear. We'll meet double love. That love will strike. Listen. I was reading the scripture. I was telling me that all the prophecies, all the, the power, all the whatever will be finished. It says there are three things. It is faith, hope, hope and what? And love. And they say the greatest is love. You see, Christians normally say, I walk by faith. No, begin to walk by love. No, begin to walk by love. Walking by love, you walk like God. I don't know if you are hearing me. You cannot offend anyone. Say, I'm not going to be offended. You are 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 not going to be offended. And then you allow it, everything to be like that. And you follow your God as you please. The reason why you follow because you love him. Not because, not because you are a miracle. Because you are a blessing. Because you love him, you follow him. You can learn better God when you follow him. Follow him. And you are walking following him by love. But you can learn better God if you walk by faith or by hope, you will build promises and focus on promises than him. Because it is the love of God that built out the character that is the love of God. When we talk about the love of God, we are, we are talking about what God exhibits and prove himself what he is. When you reach, you are beaten by God. Anointing from God is love. The moment when you enter heaven, you feel your love. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. So, now, listen to this. This verse that we are reading, read it again, Mama. Read it again. I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Yes. Remain in my love and do not doubt my love for you. My God, how do you remain in his love. It means now, even you must love. Do you hear that? How do you remain in his love? You are surrounded by his love. The love has peace to your heart. When you turn around his love, when you turn around his love, do you know that you can defeat your enemies by love? You are trying to respond because you have got lack of love. I want to tell you something. You cannot give what you don't have. The reasons why today you are defeated in some areas is because you have loved little. You, you are what you, you love. You are what you, you release. When we look at you, we, we see lela. what you have released. Your actions, your responsibility, my your responses, ahau. it shows where, how far are you in love. Can, can I tell you something? Many of you today, you are like this. You know what? Because God wants to teach you love. You hear what I'm going to say? God wants to teach you love. Do you, know, do you know, I want to tell you something that will really shock you. Do you know that there's no witches? You don't know that? Yeah, it's about you. Huh? Really? Really? 
right? You will learn when I'm going on. Let's read the scriptures. Luke 6 verse 35. Look at 6 35. Read. But love that is unselfishly, unselfishly seek the best or higher good for your enemies. And do good and lend expecting nothing in return. For your reward will be great, meaning rich and abundant. And you will be sons of the Most High. Because he himself is kind and gracious and good to the ungrateful and the wicked. <laughs> you heard that. You know that verse I read it, I laugh a lot. Verse because sometimes when we read verses, we don't repeat. Listen, one verse, take one verse, repeat it. Take one verse, repeat it. It will give revelations. It will tell you what is saying. You know, this verse is telling you there's no witches. It's telling us there's no witches. I want to make you to understand this. It says, but love, that is and selfishly seek the best or higher good for the witches. Seek the best for the witches. Did you see that verse there? Seek the best for what? Did you read the verse? It says, when the witch is witching you. It becomes an enemy, isn't it? So you seek the best as God. Bless this witch. What is a witch? Can you ask your neighbor. You know there are witches, but tell me the meaning of the witch. Witches the which is an other people, they fall under enemies. Now the Bible says, seek the best for them. Why? Because, because, because they cannot hinder you. The blessing, your blessing is from God. Let, let me show you from that verse. It says, and do good. And learned and expecting nothing in the land. will be great. Will be great. Will be great. Great. Great because your reward is from above. And you'll be a son of God. You'll be a daughter of God. Uh, me, I'm just seeing Christians who are lacking love now. Even when you pray, you're no longer, it's no longer an issue of yourself and relationship. Of your relationship with God. You, are, you are stopping wishes. You are stopping wishes. Listen, which is going to wish you when you're a son of God? Remember, listen. When you have got, you are son of God, you have got DNA of God. There's a blood of God in you. The blood of God cannot be stopped by Satan. Whatever you are facing right now, God is teaching you to love a wish. I don't know if you're hearing me. God is teaching you to love your enemy. The more they are around, and oppressing you. Don't look at them. Look at the one who gave you love. Love them and pray for them. And God will lift you up. This year, you see when you love everyone. You are going to be a blessing. I say you are going to be a blessing. Your amen is weak. Can you see you people here? Because now, you accuse everyone as a wish. You don't know <laughs> When somebody is old in your village, is a wish. Even that one, when he was young, so the older ones, they say, this one might be a wish. Now, now wishes. Wish, wishes are old people to you. Witchcraft. You can bond with it. But God said, let's love them because you are a son of God. 
Do you think if Jesus was Le nana ha Jesu mutho mwana le wona le fasenga pele. Do you think Jesus? Le nana or Jesu who pray against witches. Na to ra pele ga thong le bona. Jesus could not pray against. Jesus na ga sra pele ga thong le bona. Did you read the Bible? Did you ever hear Jesus? Un kile wa ta Jesu a bolela ka taba tsaba lohi. Jesus will just pray and thank God. Jesus no ra pele le ba mutho papa ke a tseba o ya ntwa. Ke mo. And people. And for the Shabbat. And feed all. Because our Father bring rain. Even to the witches, even to the neighbors. Let's change. Let's change. And we love everyone. Tell the neighbor. Let's change. Tell the neighbor. I want to tell you a secret. Do you know that there are some people who come your way? And, and hate you so that it was hate them. And such people behind them, such people behind them, there's your blessing. And such people in you, and there's power to change them. If you change this one, you can change all. If you can change someone who hurt you, you can change everyone. I don't know if you're hearing me. So they're there to limit your love. So that you must not be like your father. Some people are hating you just there as a test. How far are you in love? Can you just tell anybody? People are hating you. They are there to test how far are you in love. Did you hear that? Can you see why today God cannot give you enough anointing? Because the anointing. I mean, we'll choose people. We we'll choose people. We are anointed to choose people. If you want God to reveal things to you, you love everyone. Just love everyone. Tell everyone, I want to love everyone. Do you want to have the love of the Father God? Do you want to have the love of the Father God? I want to have the love of the Father God. Where God can love the whole earth. And we love everyone. Do you want to have the love of the Father God? Do you want to have the love of the Father God? These people you are talking about but are eating your time of prayer. Tell everybody that. Can you stop talking about others now? You begin to talk with God. Are you ready to do that? Let me show you from scriptures. Mm, yes. First John. John Wapil. Chapter 4, verse 11. Chapter 4, verse 11. Yes. Read. Are you ready, man? We have got people who don't have love. We don't have love. We don't have love. Whatever that God has given you is not yours alone. It's a lesson. You know what to do. To see if you love others. And, and some people are just talking about love, love, love. Love is very dangerous. And it's it's not an issue of just saying, hey, I love this person. Oh, no, action must be taken. Let us see something. 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 I love this person. I love this person. I love this person. And this person has been told that I love you, but since she has been wearing the same old shoes of two years ago, and you have paid money, you put your money in the bank, you love this girl, but you have placed your money somewhere, hidden it somewhere. This money you walk around with it. It's inside your trouser, from one trouser to the other. It will come out from this one to another one. There are others whom you love. You only give them money and no one will know that you give somebody money. 
there are others you love when you send money to them you even uh, take away all the messages I saw somebody deleting messages when I looked I checked and it was messages for money there are people who are loved when you have sent money to them, you even delete the messages. And you come back and be ugly a little bit. And you become ugly. And you say money is difficult to have. But you went to the people, those whom you love. But this one who you say you love, this one you are having right here beside you, will be given only change. The person, the wife would just be given change. If you want to know, people are dangerous. No, just visit them. By tell. You just visit them. And you will see if they love you. They will show you that they love you. They will give you sweet eight. And they will and give you cups. Durai, and you will drink the sweet eight. And you, <laughs> there will be sound inside and your stomach. When you just come come out, there will be people that will come in, those who are loved. And, and you will see a child going around searching for cold drink. You will just be amazed when the, the child passes you by. And when you check and we look. Where are you going? Kuriso, where are you going? They sent me to go and buy cold drink. Martha. I met Mrs. Martha along the road. Sweet aid is finishing. It's for you alone. You are not loved. You are not loved. Now, do you think God is going to offer you everything? Let us read the word. Beloved. Mm -hmm. If God so loved us in this incredible way, we also ought to love one another. Did you hear that? Ligwile. Bafunwa. Baratwa. If you love me, will be loved? Baratwa. Bafunwa. Baratwa. You who have been loved. If God has loved us in this way, we ought to learn how to love too. Your blessings are carried by the person you hate. Tell the person that is close to you. Tell your neighbor that word. Your blessings are carried by the person you hate. I just want to send people who are married. Now home. When I close this service, you must run back home. When I close this service, you must run back home. And start loving each other. Love each other. Love does not start outside, but inside. When we are looking at you wearing a suit inside the church, even your wife wearing a beautiful suit, we think everything is fine, Kanti, you are always fanti. You are always fighting. This side you are praying. This one when tears are coming out, we thought it is the Holy Spirit, Kanti, are things that are coming from home. It's not the Holy Spirit, it's issues. Yesterday night, somebody didn't sleep. She was being told things. There are other, other women who, when they are angry, they will wake up from the bed and stood on their legs. And they will tell their husband how to come in and go out. And their husband will be lying on top of the bed saying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the wife saying, You would know what? I'll show you. I mean, I'm not as stupid like your sister. Now there are also other people. Even in their houses, fire is burning. When they reach the house of the Lord, they lift their hands up. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, love is not there. 
there are a lot of issues backbiting each other. Let us read going forward. No one has seen God at any time, but if we love one another with unselfish concern, God abides in us. Did you hear that? You have never seen God. Is there anybody who has seen God here? Listen, love invites God. Love invites God. You have never seen God. Love invites God. Love invites God. The presence of God comes there. The presence of God. I don't forget this thing. Uh, we were attending church. Uh, Mom, I saw Mamunya, she's here. She's At school. And one time, God revealed to me, I was I was one woman. When we were busy worshiping, I saw a woman. Uh, she was standing there. This woman a husband come five o'clock from work. Mosadiwa Monaya Uvuya Kabo five or four away miracle. Ten o'clock. Ka ten. She goes out to have to, to meet another man. Meo we are to Ayo Copanalinta to Mwekai guy. Pass one she come back. Kabo pass one uvuile. She bas she dresses. We are tapa bar. Ashira na zona nuka. And both uh, smelling things which Mukara. smell good. Mukara bashika. And the husband will come back. And it will seem as if she never went anywhere. It's like she never went anywhere. So many of the women are doing so. It's like they didn't go anywhere. Until there's somewhere they are coming from. Now the wife that will ask where I'm going will be, will pass Everything, doing it also for the husband. I become very angry. I said, I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I, I'm sure I moved three steps. I I get get to hear speaking in tongues. I was what kind of tongues? I ask you, where is your I look at her, I was very angry. You know, I was told by God that day. I will stop showing you things. Because these are the people I love. And you must love them if you want to see these things. We operate by love. Without love, there is no Holy Spirit. There is no God. You cannot confess to say God is here. From today, check the people you don't love. They are hindering you in the life of the Spirit. The presence of God must be around. This year, you must feel the presence of God. I don't know if you are hearing it. Can you tell us about this year? You must feel the presence of God. Are you going to love one another? Huh? Let it start from your house. Start from my house. Let me speak in English. There are other people here. You will hear the old woman say, Hey, this one... <laughs> Of my house, you cannot be able to do anything. I'm sure you've have, you have heard something like that. I believe you have heard something like that. Hey, my own one is my own alone. The love has gone down. This person will just be angry at anything. Sometimes even though your wife is no longer loving you as such, the love has gone down. She no longer cooks. She no longer cooks. She'll just check and see how much you can say. Let's go out and buy something. She wants to finish the money. Sometimes she presents like she's sick and starts just coughing. 
Where there is no love, there is a lot of pretense. The person is just afraid to cook. You just hear saying, <coughs> and you ask yourself, I don't even know what's happening with me. She's just afraid to cook for the husband. Just the responsibility of cooking. Jesus was given to us by God. You must not speak about love when you are unable to do some things. Do something and show love. God will bless you. Jesus will bless you. You must love everyone even though that has been hurt. Even those that hurt you. Love them. Have you ever seen a wife you saw, see, see a wife when the love is finished will kick you a kind of porridge that has mealy meal inside you will have a stomach that has been what what your wife will cook you food that is undone the food when you open it you will meet mealy meal inside and you will work when you are busy eating. Change in your own house. Love everyone. Love starts at home. Tell the person that is close to you. Love starts at home. And there are also those. When I'm preaching here, there are things that I'm, being, I'm seeing. I'm prophesying here. When you hear me speaking in English, I'm prophesying. And there are also others when the love is finished. We no longer hear things at home there, yet at, at home there. there. In the villages. Uh, things are being told to the old ladies at all. They are no longer spoken here where we are. You will just hear matters coming from home there. Some will just see them happening. Have you ever seen a person who doesn't have changes to be a ghost? A person who does not have changes to be a ghost, he just turn elsewhere anyway. There are ghosts in our midst today. Even today, I want to deliver many from ghosthood. You just hate somebody and do things when we ask you. You don't even know because you were very much angry. One day you will see a husband taking out tin stuff, fish, tin fish, and you ask yourself, am I no longer going to buy grocery? And you find your wife having cooked dairy, and you don't even understand. Love is gone. Love will be finished one day. And your wife will cook the for you. Before you came back, she has already eaten with meat. And when you come back entering the house, you'll find her. When you sit down eating the same, it's like she's eating, she'll pick up food. And like she's and she puts some under the table. And when you'll be busy eating the you don't even wear where it is coming from. Oh my God. She will give you dinner. People are very dangerous when they don't have love. A person who does not have love. When I'm preaching, I'm seeing people that don't have love. When somebody did a mistake, you don't love the person anymore. If she has a child, she has a child when he does not have a husband, you don't love the person anymore. When something happens to the person, you don't love the person anymore. The person will be rejected. He made us to be shy. You are also making us to be shy. Accept this person and love that person and God uses you. There is nobody who fails when the person is being supported. When you love the person, the person will never fail. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let's go back to the word of God. Colossians 3 verse 13. Colossians 3 verse 13. I'll end not so long. Colossians 3 verse 13. Colossians 3 verse 13 says, 
-hmm. bearing graciously with one another uh -huh. and willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause of a complaint against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. All right, listen. I want, to, I want to tell you that the reasons why Jesus came when God loved the world it was because of forgiveness. Can we learn to forgive? We are hurt by people. A lot. You are hurt. Listen, if you don't forgive, you cannot move forward. Whoever has hated you wants to stop you there. So even when you want to move forward, you remember this person There are some decisions you won't take because you are hurt. You are even afraid to mingle with people because you are hurt. You cannot take some decisions. You are in one place. Listen. Listen. This is the time that you do what this scripture says. If there is any complaint, let's forgive each other. Love one another. Any complaint, let's forgive each other. Sometimes you need to look at yourself. You are not perfect. perfect. This one caused something here today. Oh, you will cause it tomorrow. tomorrow. When our lady our son, it's time now that you look at your weakness and accept other people's weakness. Everybody have got weakness. Forgive if you want to love. You will be very hurt. So that you must forgive, not forgive. You will be very much hurt. But forgive. I pray that today. God will give you strength to forgive. Because some things that has happened to you, you cannot change that. They have pain in your heart. They, they have the results of it. You, you tell, tell you see what happened. There are some scars that you cannot raise. But listen, forgive, forgive. You will move forward. God loves you. God bless you.